about to hit the road, introduce some new characters. We've got my wife, this is Eliza. Hi. Got the whole crew in the back. We've got Ollie. Little fella's just woken up. And we've got Holly over here in the capsule. First road trip in the new bus for us. We're travelling with uh, Team Allen this weekend and Lisa thought we'd hit the road, head down to the Fitzgerald River National Park for Easter. You might notice it's a bit dark outside. Thought we'd get an early start, let the kids have a sleep. That has not worked for us. Uh, both kids are wide awake, but hopefully Rich and Lisa have had uh, better success than we have. Good day, team. Cheeky little 4am wake up. It's now just before five. We're getting the troops inside. Georgie, Hazel's to come. But no, we're all packed up, ready to roll. Terrible lighting, but caravan's all hooked up. Bus is ready to go. And we're gonna see the Lewises at Yule Do. Should be good fun. All right, we picked up the Lewises probably about 30 minutes ago now. We are somewhere on the Albany Highway, heading towards Williams, where we'll have our first coffee for the morning and a meat pie, apparently. First coffee of many. Then we've got all the troops in the car, most of them are asleep. How are you feeling about the trip, Lise? It seems like you'll be a little bit more settled when you've had a so. coffee. Yeah, right, Co okay. Yeah, at, at least one. Oh, that's fine. You at haven't been hard to deal one. with it this morning, you've been an absolute angel, oh, it's okay. you are being nice now. The fact that you woke me up is great. Nice. So the Lewises just picked up their car yesterday. I'm not jealous about the four cylinders at all. Plus the old girl, the Prado, she's serving us well, so very happy with it. North Bannister, but that's like high headed right? Picked up the new bus yesterday, yeah, it was yesterday. Yeah. Did it at about nine o'clock and here we are the next day on the road. I was gonna say, it looked a little bit familiar. I saw the boys, the old tow pro in yesterday afternoon. Electric brakes and a 12 pin, that was enough to get us on the road. A little bit of R&D, mate. See what you like, what you don't like, what you might need in the future, eh? Take it on the beach, go for a bit of a drive, see what we need to do to it. That'll be the second priority. Number one priority is obviously relaxing with a tin or two, I reckon. Tin of Western Draft. The one and only, you know it. Yeah, Eliza's nodding her head very enthusiastically. <laughs> Speaking of which, who, uh, who gets the car? It's a family car, so who gets to drive the old girl? Still up for debate. <laughs> oh. Keen to hear Eliza's thoughts on the bus too. Yeah, Eliza's been brainwashing our children ever since it got home. <laughs> to be fair, don't blame her. Nothing like a car, mate. We'll uh, stop off at Cochinup. What do you reckon? Yeah, on Albany Highway all the way through to Cochinup. We will turn left and head off towards the Fitzgerald River National Park where we'll be spending the next four days being Easter. Up, isn't it? So we're at Broom Hill. We stopped off for a pit stop. Kids uh, went to the toilet, big kids and little kids. But now they're all having a bit of fun on the playground. And uh, it looks like there's a pub. Unfortunately, it's Good Friday, so it's not open, but uh, would be good. Anyway, I've got to go push Myra on the swing. <laughs>
what are you going to do with the kayaks? Are you just going to leave them up on the roof and pop them up? Or are you got, you're trying to set up the camp? The kids can be a little bit chaotic. So I'll set up the outside, get the awning up, get the chairs out, take the kayaks off the roof and find a little spot for them. As far as entertaining the kids go, our job's a little easier than yours. So we've got one less kid. Myra will probably just look out the holly for us. So we should be uh, half our job done, I think. Nice. Glad we can bring the babysitter. The uh, payment will be in tins of Western Draft, I reckon. We do have a gazebo, so that'll be like an outdoorsy area that's kind of indoors as well. Just going to bring in a bit of weather chat. I thought I'd looked at the forecast. Our sunroof opened on the 200 series. John's just opening it up again now. It's actually quite warm. Like, it feels relatively warm. So, yeah, it should be good. Yeah, that's a cheeky way to say that you've got a sunroof there, Zara. Uh, <laughs> quite easily. In the Prado, I can see that it's 30 <laughs> degrees outside. I'm sure your dashboard says exactly the same thing, but nice one up there, mate. I'll take it where I can get it, mate. <laughs> Welcome, welcome guys. Welcome to the homestead. Hi. Your host this evening. See the kangaroos. Oh, hey friends. You see them? Yeah. I can move. I can see the kangaroos. So we have just entered into Qualup Homestead. I hope I'm saying that right. And that's in the Fitzgerald River National Park. <laughs> We're just setting up caravans with all the kids running around and it's been quite an adventure. We're avoiding ants if possible. And in Easter long weekend tradition, we have a Easter hat. Show us your hat. That's it. Look at that amazing, amazingness. Did you make that? Yes, okay. I did. It was for the Easter parade at school. We found eggs and they were chocolate and the Easter bunny gave us chocolate. Wish us luck. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> so it's Team Allen's turn to cook tonight. I'm going to do shepherd's pie. Unfortunately, we've got Lisa looking after the troops, which is far more difficult, I think, than the cooking. So she's let me have a break after the driving, which is very nice of her. But I have roped in uh, Johnny here, so he's going to help me out, and we're going to cook some shepherd's pie. Watch and learn, or, or watch yeah, and learn from our mistakes, I suppose. Watch and advise. Yeah. We're looking at going out in a couple of hours, aren't we? So we'll get this on now, we'll get it hot, and then when we come back, we can just reheat it up over the gas oven. So we'll get the mince on. Got to find all my ingredients. Oh, first things first, Rowdy. How are you with the beers? Nearly done, mate. Nearly done. Well, if you want another one of the best. One and only, mate. She's Kimberly Cool, so. Thanks, sir. Oh, good stuff, Ollie. Great job there, mate. <laughs> Clean that log, mate. Where's the one? Do we have any salt? Plenty of pepper, plenty of salt. I used to watch a cooking show called Good Chef, Bad Chef. His name was Adrian, the chef. And he would say, meat loves salt and salt loves meat. Always, always doused my meat in salt. Hey, 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 hey. How many minutes till food? Ooh, knowing Uncle John and I's ability. Could be here till midnight, what do you reckon? Yeah, Wouldn't be the first time. The nope. best key you can have with mints is to cook it and then cook it some more. I'll tell you what, the drive coming in, great view. You can see over the hill, you can see the dunes, everything. It's actually a nice little spot here. Some pretty serious full drive tracks out here. It'd be interesting to see how the old 200 goes. We'll find out. Or, or the Prado. <laughs> we got the boys cooking up a storm. Trying. Maybe this is how we'll do it. Girls night, lads night. Girls night, lads night. I think it's just whoever's got hands free. Yeah. <laughs> hey, we can multitask, yeah. it's fine. Dad, I'm here! Okay. Trap, we're gonna go down, it's for experienced four drivers only. Very good. Looking forward to it. Yeah. I'm neither experienced nor have I driven this car in four drivers before, but we'll be right. <laughs> <laughs> we got a winch. 
As he's got a winch, but I've got no recovery points. Oh. Yeah, we'll be running it under his axle. Now you got a tow bar, don't you? Yeah. Yeah, I've got soft shackles to put it through the pin. Look at your fancy talking. <laughs> Thinks he works for a four wheel drive businessman. <laughs> Who are you? Who's the man I married? Where's the t shirt? Give me that. You should have heard him giving advice to Connie about bridges the other day. Prepping to go to the beach. Just airing down our tyres to about 22 psi. There was a bit of uh, hairy tracks back there, so the rhino hide definitely saved our paintwork. So we took the troops down to Gordon Inlet Beach. We were just staying at Quala Homestead. We cooked dinner. We thought we'd have a quick dash and splash out to the beach. We eventually got here with some difficulty with reading the map. John's having a fish. We'll see how he goes, but it's absolutely magic. Look at it. Where else would you want to be right now? You're going to have to pardon me. While John's going to have a fish, I'm going to have a beer. I think the plan has worked. We've gone to the beach. You've had a fish, <laughs> to no luck. I had a beer, which was great. The kids had a bit of a play and dinner was ready for us when we got back. So that's good. Might pass the test from mum, who knows? Now, what's the taste test? Is it good? Five stars, five being the best and one being the worst. What would you rate that shepherd pie? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, Adam, on, a, on a scale of one to ten, how do you rate Dad's shepherd's pie? <laughs> yes. Ollie, Ollie, tickle your mouth. Oh no! Oh no! I'm getting ganged up. Oh no! Oh no! Oh, no. <laughs> 